here, Wasatch heat cable. Uh, this is an ice dam that's formed above our heat cable system and has created a leak coming inside this home. I want to explain something about a, a question we get a lot with a lot of homeowners. Uh, they ask us, why do we need to put it on the roof edge? If we keep the gutter clear, we should be fine. Well, not the case, and this is a perfect example of why. So I'm going to explain this stuff here to you. If I can get down in here. You can see we've got heat cable in this system. And you can see the gutter is very clear. The heat cable's been on. It's been cutting these lines right up here on the roof. But you can see the volume of ice that has formed and to give you an idea I mean you can see how thick it is with my hand here next to it but this ice what it does is it forms right here is a platform and this spot right in here is your cold spot that's your transition from a heated roof down to where it starts to freeze right here this block of ice has formed across here and water cannot escape through the ice. It ends up going up under the shingles and back in. So if you look at this, we've cleared the gutter, we've cleared the roof edge, yet if ice still forms on your roof, you're still going to get a potential water leak, a water leak into the house. So this is a, this is a perfect example of why it's important to install heat cable properly and in the right areas so that you can prevent this from happening. Now, the wall, the wall barrier of this house is actually about right here. And this is typically, as far as you need to go with the heat cable, is about five, six inches past the wall barrier. We're gonna be taking this up an additional four feet to make sure we clear the ice forming area. Because this is forming because it's freezing on the roof edge right there. So this is a, it's a good example of why you got to do this right. Thanks, Eric Wimmer, Wasatch Cable.